Assalamualaikum and greetings. Ali Shamho here. Today in this video, we are going to unbox and review the ZOHD Orbit FPV Flying Wing. This is an FPV Flying Wing that is designed for beginners to learn to fly, to get into the world of FPV, to enjoy FPV flying properly rather than focusing or struggling to fly a hard to fly FPV flying wing. I am saying that it's because this flying wing has a built-in stabilizer that takes care of flying for beginners and beginners can actually focus on having a fun FPV experience while flying orbit around. Before we open the box, the last thing that I want to say is that this is an EPP foam material which is extra durable and will take many of your crashes with just a spot. Well, it is difficult to crash this aircraft, especially when it's flying in 6-axis gyro mode or beginner mode. It takes care of flying by itself. Even the takeoff becomes a kind of auto launch or auto takeoff. Landing is just a breeze with a 6-axis gyro system. And when, you in, and when you have polished your skills a bit, you can switch the same stabilization system into 3G mode and you can go for some more agile FPV flying, including some aerobatics as well. Enough said, let's take it outside the box. Let's see what's inside the box. I'll take a closer look at this FPV aircraft. All right, so let's unbox the ZOHD Orbit FPV flying wing. Inside the box, we have wings, of course. First off, you will take out the wings. After that, we have two different nose mounts. After that, we have the main fuselage, which has all the electronics. And we have a glass fiber central rod for securing the wings and strengthening the wing. We have a top mount to mount the uh, HD camera. A simple user manual of your Orbit flying wing and one propeller. All right, so these are the components of the box. As mentioned in the beginning of the video in the title, uh, these planes are available in three different uh, versions. So kit version where you install your own electronics uh, inside the aircraft and fly it with your own preferred set of electronics. And PMP version which I have here and does not have an FPV system on board but it does have the uh, stabilization system installed on board. And of course you have the final version that is PNP plus HD FPV with an FPV camera system, video transmitter and everything installed. So this is the PNP version. I have to install my own FPV system in it which I can easily install. I have a couple of FPV systems laying around. First on we will focus on its features and then of course we will prepare it for a flight and bring it for a flight testing and after that of course installing an FPV system will be a breeze for me. Okay first off this is a snap and fly design. Why they are calling it a snap and fly system? Because it's very very easy to install and remove the wing before and after flight and of course the other thing that you will notice is that there are no servos on the wing see no servos on the wing so how do you control the ailerons or these moving surfaces that will actually move, make your plane move around well well that's where they call it the snap and fly design because no more servo cables to go inside very very easy just snap the wings in and you are in and you are ready for flying so if there are no servos in the wings where are the servos that is the question of course the servos are installed inside right here in the fuselage and with the mechanism which actually moves the ailerons for you which will snap fit with the wing when you fit the wing into the fuselage to fit the wing into the fuselage first off you will have to insert this rod into the main fuselage this is the wing strengthening central rod okay after that everything becomes a simply snap and fly put the wing press it down that's it right no more screws nothing install the wing press it down that's it your FPV wing is ready no more cables to run around no more connections to make no more headaches on installing and removing the screws and when you are done flying you just pull the wing out just like that 
and you can store the aircraft, FPV aircraft, securely and easily anywhere, uh, taking very less space. You can even remove this bar and store the aircraft into a smaller place. So this is what they call snap and fly design. I'm simply loving it because it takes many of your headaches away for connecting the cables, for installing the screws, stuff like that. Right inside the fuselage, two servos are installed here for you already and the ESC or electronic speed controller is right there in the center. And here you can see your stabilization system is already installed for you. These are the cables that you will connect to your receiver and configure a three position switch for your stabilization system activation that is 6G and 3G modes and of course connect your battery and go for a flight right away. Now on the forward side you can easily remove this nose cover which is uh, mounted with magnets. They have provided us with three different nose covers depending on the choice of cameras you're installing this is basically for the brick cameras this is for fpv camera and this is for the box cameras next thing the plane is running a 2204 1817 kv motor and a fly color 30 amp esc that takes that will take batteries from 2s to 4s i'm very very happy to see that because i have 4s batteries that will fit just fine in this plane and with 4s we will be having a bit more speed as well under the plane everything is colored black and on top you have white so it is very very easy to distinguish if your plane is flying straight or upside down and you won't make any mistakes and black color is basically very easy to see from the ground as well so there is a very good visibility in the air when you're flying this FPV orbit you have CG located right here it's written CG down here it's hard to see with the black color on the camera right here but the CG is mentioned very very clearly so you will be able to properly set the CG. Orbit wing is using a 6 inch propeller with a self tightening mechanism. According to the rotation of motor the propeller will self tighten itself so you just install it and as soon as motor spins it will self tighten itself and will not come out and that makes it very very easy to even remove the propeller whenever you want or replace the propeller. However, having this uh, self-tightening system means you will need to have more of the same propellers from ZOHD, uh, which is a kind of proprietary thing and this is what I don't like it. They should make it very, very simple to take universally any kind of propeller on this motor. Anyway, this is it for this FPV aircraft. Now let's prepare it and bring it out for flight. So here is the finished wing. You can see uh, on my table the space is cramped you wouldn't be able to see the complete wing here you can see the whole wing in my hands the bottom part completely black as I said very easy to see in the skies and the there's a ZOHD orbit logo also etched right here makes it look like a premium product now one thing I can tell you for sure when I tested this in China this plane is so easy to fly for beginners that even my six-year-old Irish I believe can easily fly it and that is my plan that I will introduce the RC flying to my six-year-old Irish using the ZOHD orbit and I'm sure he can handle it the only thing is if he takes interest in it and once he is able to fly it I will introduce him to FPV using the orbit flying wing because honestly this plane is a very very beginner friendly and I'm confident even a six-year-old can fly it so stay tuned for the flight videos coming very soon on my video channels. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.